it's Evie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an updated what's on my iPhone. So I think the last one I did of these was when I first got my 6S and that was back in 2017. So I thought I'd go ahead and do an updated one after so much request. You guys like seem to love like what's on my iPhone videos. So I thought I would do another one for you all. So I got a 6S I think probably about four months ago now and I love it so much. So it's changed a little bit since my last what's on my iPhone. Like my apps have changed um, and stuff like that. So I thought I would go ahead and just show you that and I'm also going to be showing you how I edit my Instagram photos because I have like a little theme going on on my Instagram which is Evie Ellen make sure to go check it out I'm not sure what I'm doing with my theme at the moment I feel like I want to change it around a bit but I'm going to be showing you the theme that I just had that I think I've had for quite a while and how I edited my photos just in case you guys were wondering and I thought we would add a little extra something to the video so I hope you guys enjoy make sure to give it a massive thumbs up if you do let's try and get it to 120 likes because that would be amazing and then also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you are new here it is the one you want Evie Ellen and it would be amazing if you came and joined the family for videos every Friday and sometimes mini me videos as well I love you all so so much and let's get straight on with it all right so this is my phone it is the iPhone 6s in rose gold and I literally love it I was always worried about like the iPhone 6s being like the rose gold one being tacky but honestly I don't think it's tacky at all like the color I think it's really really nice I also have this case on it from a caseology which I love and it's just so good and then this pop socket I actually got as a present from Bethany I think this was a Christmas present so thank you so much I literally love it I've been wanting one for ages so I just have that on this case and it's really really good and I definitely recommend this because it really helps you grip your phone but yeah so as you can see my phone's also white um the actual like color I guess of my phone so um, I'm gonna get straight into it so my lock screen is a picture of me and my dad when we we're younger <laughs> but yeah so I think it's really cute um, and I literally love this picture in black and white so um, I just put it as my lock screen and it's just been there for ages I literally love it and then this is my phone and its layout so it's completely changed because if you saw my last what's my iPhone it was like color coordinated it kind of is now which I'll explain later but it's all in like folders and stuff now but my backdrop is a picture of me and Bethany I love this picture and it's with the little halo filter on snap that's really cute so first of all the little toolbar bit i just have safari music um i have instagram which is literally like my favorite app now because i love you snapchat but like the new update is just not my favorite and let me know what you guys think about it and i love instagram now because i just i think it's so good um so yeah this is my instagram it is called evie ellen if you were wondering and you should definitely go and follow it um i post quite a lot well i'm active a lot i don't post loads but like i'm active a lot do you know what i mean and yeah this is probably the social media you're better of contact me on if you want to like, contact me or talk to me and um, yes yeah, so that's instagram and then i also have just my messages up here i have mail calendar and clock i've taken these out of folders because i find them quite important things because obviously calendar so you can know the day clock because i need alarms for school and then mail was just there because it looks cool um and then i have social which is a big folder for me so as you can see this is what i meant by color coordinating as you can see i've got like some blues here some greens and then reds like i've kind of color, color coordinated it in their folders because that's kind of what i like so i just have snapchat here i have facebook twitter messenger my twitter is evlnx by the way um and my snapchat is evlnyt i have messenger for facebook i have this which i've completely forgotten what it is i don't i don't i don't really know what it is so great love it and then i also have swell which is like where you can talk to experts and stuff it's really cool and then i have you now which i actually did a live stream the other day on you now which i literally it was so cool because i haven't done one in ages i think my username's evl and x on there okay so then at the bottom here i have facetime and then i also have whatsapp for all my family chats um and then here i have a depop which i love if you were wondering my depop is evlnyt i am selling a lot of stuff on there it looks like i'm inactive but i'm not i'm selling like all this stuff if anyone is interested you should definitely go and follow me fast shipping guys we go by um but yeah and then i have x factor which i don't use anymore because obviously x factor's not on but it's like for when the auditions happen so it's quite cool to have that and i put it in social don't really know why then i have youtube go subscribe to my youtube evl and the one you're on right now and then i also have musically which i don't use anymore unless i'm doing like privates and stuff with my friends or something or just messing around with it but yeah i used to like be obsessed with musically um i just sometimes go through musically as well and then i have a little shopping folder which again i kind of color coordinated so i have misguided which i literally love and then i have uber eats because 
it's actually really really good i have super drug i have two super drug apps i'm not really sure why i should probably put them next to each other but yeah oh shout out to nicole um anyway so then i have pretty little thing that as well super drug top shop ebay h&m and kfc i guess that's shopping uh, but yeah that's what i have in like my little shopping folder here then i have a little like money folder so i just have halifax paypal and then i also have my gift gaff which is the like carry i'm on is that what it's called just to like check how much data i have left and things like that then next i have a photo and i have a video folder so i have no it's just all in one um i have boomerang which i love i have layout for like collages I have photos camera and iMovie and vseo is about actually where i edit my instagram photos so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how i would edit an instagram photo okay you know what guys self-confidence this is absolutely disgusting this photo but um, i'm gonna use it anyway just to show you guys you know i might end up posting this on my instagram who knows but i'm gonna go ahead and show you how i would edit this obviously filters might look different in different pictures but to do with their lighting but i'm just going to show you what i would do and what i have been doing recently so i just go on the vseo filters i use the filter hb2 i think it's free on the app and i basically will put this up to just i kind of look at the picture so i'm going to put it about eight today and then i'll go on this bit right here and i'll play around with it a little bit it changes a lot like depending on the photo but i'll usually put the exposure down actually quite a lot because i like it like that and then i'll put the contrast up a little bit as well but not too much because i don't like it to be like too contrasted if you know what i mean the saturation i either will turn it up a little bit like that or i'll turn it down but look it might look nice up today it honestly i play around this so much highlights and shadows i sometimes play with as well i will just kind of look at it and see kind of what looks best with the picture so i might put like two on the highlights and then 2.4 on the shadows i don't know just so i get that kind of faded but like contrasted look i'm not really sure how to describe it but i really really like it and then um i will go on to grain this is like something that i put on basically every photo and i'll put it about 3.5 and i don't know if you can see i will hold it close so you can see but it's kind of put like a little grain on the photo and you can obviously like turn up like right to that if you want to but like i prefer, i can't even can you even tell the difference i don't know but like in real life you can but all you do is i turn up to like however much i want so i'm gonna do about 4.8 and that is basically what the finished photo will look like i sometimes add or take away things but that is an edited photo on my instagram compared to the other ones which aren't edited and yeah that's what i'll do i have default apps these are like the default apps you get on your phone but like ones i want to keep because you know you can get rid of them now which is quite cool i have tips find friends maps notes home ibooks news find iphone a calculator wallet watch compass files app store weather setting contacts iphone health reminders and voice memos it's quite a lot of apps it's so the next here i have a little tv folder oh yeah as you can see they're all in lowercase the little titles with the little hearts as well i think it looks cute and then i have netflix which i love and i really want to start to watch some new shows on there so if you have any recommendations then please let me know also I have bbc iplayer so i can catch up on like things like casualty and holby and then i also have a sky q and then right here i have a little music folder so i have the capital fm like app i have the radios which literally has like all the uk radio stations you can listen to whatever you like which is really really good i have spotify itunes score itunes score itunes store and then i also have a podcast and then in the last little folder here oh i need to show you those apps um i have games so i really like using games on my phone i don't like playing them too often but like you know the first one i have is a flappy golf and this is a new one it's really really great love it and then i also have paper io which is it honestly looks so good i love it and then i have roblox just because like sometimes that's so addictive and it's really good i have episode because you know i have to have episode it's like the amazing app and then i have this operating app thing which i've literally like not used yet because i don't know my apple id that's great love it though um i also have choices which is similar to episode but i do think i prefer episode i have hexar.io which is similar to paper io it's yeah it's quite similar it's really good though i have auto wrap because it makes me laugh <laughs> and then i also have cliffhanger which is like the thing where it's like scary stories um even though you have to pay to like listen to the rest of the story and then on the next page and the final page where i have some apps i have ones that aren't in folders because they don't really fit with anything i have live count so i can check my current subscriber count i just like having it there good to check up on like my subscribe count see how my channel's doing then um i have gboard i will come back seven i have gboard which is basically um a keyboard where you can like slide 
it's really hard to explain but it's really cool when you type so I definitely recommend it. I also have bus times because I live in London so we take the bus and I can see the bus stops near me and like check when they're coming which is really really useful. So moving back to Seven, this is, I don't know if you can even tell by the name, but it's a workout app and it's actually really really good. This is in no way sponsored by them but honestly I love this app. It's basically like you can get different exercises and it will give you loads of different things to do. You get like 30 seconds for each exercise and then 10 seconds break in between or at least the one exercise I've done that's what I've got. You can use different instructors and then you just do exercises and it's really been motivating me to do exercises every day. The reason it's called seven is because a lot of them are seven minute exercises that you can do and honestly it's literally like only a little bit of time out your day and it really makes people like really refresh just like working out a little bit. So it's a really really good app and I definitely recommend it. So that is everything on my phone and also how I edit my Instagram photos so i hope you guys enjoyed as the what is on my iphone i really really hope you guys did enjoy it as i said and yeah again make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe and all of that stuff follow my social medias and i love you so much and i will see you in my next video bye you can click see my last video which was some glam makeup on my sister well no i actually turned my sister into me which was so cool so make sure to go and click that and watch that and then also you can click subscribe to my channel and then down here are my social media so you should definitely make sure to check those out too